So welcome ladies and gentlemen to today's video. I'm almost starting this off like I did yesterday's video with FIFA. Ah oh, man, I will prepare yourself. Um, I, I am really not, I don't even know which direction, honestly, which direction this video is going to go. I don't know how long it's going to be, but just prepare yourself, folks, because we've got a lot to talk about. You know, I woke up today, obviously I live in Florida, so I'm five hours behind of, you know, Europe, six hours behind. Uh, and then Japan's obviously a lot further ahead. So, the big news, of course, first of all, is Pez is no more. They got rid of the name. They've, they've said, forget it. We're going just for eFootball, which I had a little bit of an inclination uh, that they were going to do this. I mentioned this probably a few months ago. That they, they might take this in a different direction. Was I 100% expecting it? Not really. Now, my only thing is, maybe they're going to confuse the Americans with this. Like, football in America is not our football, you know? They call it soccer. So, Pro Evolution Soccer worked, because it's got soccer in it. But now, an American walks to the store and he says eFootball. What's he going to think? A new American football game's come out? Oh, look, a new American football game's come out, bro. Let's try this out. Shocking accent. Uh, th th maybe that's why they've gone for it. Uh, I've absolutely no idea. But there's your first piece of news. All right, eFootball is now officially the name of Pez. I am not going to be calling it eFootball. I will still call it Pez. I might name my videos differently, but I'm not changing. Absolutely not. We are sticking to the Pez shenanigans. Um, anyway, the first thing we're going to do, as I say, this video is going to be all over the place because I don't even know what I'm going to be talking about. What I do this game right here. I'm going to run the trailer, and then I'm going to go through it, okay? The first thing I noticed was the guy's voice. It seemed like they just used someone like Siri, and they whacked it in the trailer, which was quite interesting. Um, so, yeah, you know, at the beginning, they showed the graphics. I mean, there's Messi running, you know, walking through with a silhouette of himself, showing different sort of screenshots of the game itself. Uh, there's a bit of the lighting... I mean, it looks nice. As I said, I'll go back to this afterwards. Um, we're going to go back to this afterwards. But for now, I'm just going to let it run through, okay? Because there really is a lot to talk about. And I, and I wasn't expecting this from Konami themselves. Uh, I mean, this is the new color scheme. The most ridiculous neon yellow blue that I've ever seen. I mean, core cool, blimey. Let's have a little bit of class here. The, the color scheme is baffling. Why, why go for something so extravagant? They've always got to do these vibrant... It doesn't always have to be vibrant. Just keep it clean and sexy. That's all we need. So anyway, there's Messi. Uh, there is Old Trafford. I mean, this looks nice, but we've seen it all before with Pez 21. I mean, that, I don't like... I'm going to look at that. That's just too... They need to change the colour scheme. What is that for... Come on. I mean, I work in graphic design. I understand the fundamentals of what looks good and what doesn't. Um, I mean... <laughs> I don't... It's not even like the trailer. It's just seeing some of the gameplay. My only hope, okay, because there are so many things wrong with this, and I will talk about this, obviously, once we've run the whole thing, that this is this is literally the mobile version that they're showing here. Because this is not next-gen by any stretch. This isn't even last-gen, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we see a little bit more shooting. Uh, then they've got the official, the official advertisers, which they like to use, of course, the famous names. Andres Iniesta, who is now in Japan, so it's pretty easy for him. It's just up the street. You can just pop along and say hello to the lads. So a bit of mocap that we kind of saw, you know, with FIFA regarding the uh, the suits that they're wearing. We're going to go through other stuff after this as well, by the way. I have got some articles that I want to talk about. So this is not just going to be about the trailer. I'm going to talk about a lot of things. Um, and I'll try and leave timestamps, you know, if I'm not all over the place. Because I, my, my brain right now is just, like, fried. You know, it's it's all over the place. Uh, so there's Iniesta talking. Yeah, vital to create some dribbling is a way to trick opponent. Yes, it is. Correct. For $100. Uh, it's the very moment that the opponent thinks he can get the ball that I dodge him with a quick move. I mean, you can tell this is this is a mobile version. Straight up, straight up. Not even not even disputing that fact. Uh, Gerard Piquet. I'm just gonna let it run through. I'm gonna drink cappuccino today because this is the type of mood I'm in. A bit of hold up play there. 
So I'm going to be streaming Friday again. So stay tuned for that because I will have all my thoughts there. There we are. Um, talking about this, that, and the other. Cutting out space gives your opponent less time to think on the ball. In other words, less options. Yes. Gerard. How's the missus, Gerard? Shakira, Shakira. Is he still with her? Don't really know. Uh, it's crucial, yeah, if you make support touch. Okay, yeah. All right, so let's get to the good part here. Mm, you know, it, it's it's not looking great, folks, is it? You know, and I, and I slagged off FIFA yesterday, royally. Royally slagged it off. Uh, because, you know, FIFA's using a new engine, no, the same engine. And now we've got pairs that's, you know, apparently using the Unreal Engine. And I'm seeing some major problems with the snippets of gameplay they've shown. You know, if they put in old gameplay for this trailer, it would baffle me as to why you would do that. That makes no sense. You wouldn't put a, you know, you can't polish a turd, as they say, but why put a turd in? Leave it out. There's no need for it. Uh, so there's Neymar, yes, doing the magic. I'm going to fast forward this. Right, this was the end part, the cross-platform, which is... I don't know about this. Um... I don't know how this is going to work. I really don't understand how this is going to work. But, you know, Konami have clearly th thought this through. I would hope so. You know, and that's why they've gone in this direction. There's Rashford. There's Lewandowski. Celebrating. Um, that was... That's some serious problems there again. Uh, and then there we go. E-Football. With the ugliest colour scheme ever. Honestly, come on. Yellow and blue? Who picked this? Uh, and then you've got this. This confuses me as well. Like, the whole trailer is just a confusion. Like, they could have done this way better instead of just, just piling this all together, slapping it in our face and saying, here, you figure it out. You know? Credit to them for giving us a six-minute trailer. And obviously free to play. All right. So that was the actual trailer itself. Now let's get to the fun stuff. I know it's taking me seven minutes to just talk nonsense there. So... Let's go through this trailer and uh, give you guys my thorough opinions on uh, everything that I'm seeing. And I'm going to just be honest with you. As I said in the FIFA video, I'm not sugarcoating anything anymore. If I don't like the look of something, I'll tell you. So, obviously the beginning they show this and it all looks nice. I mean, I can't really judge too much graphically because this isn't even 60 frames video. You know, it's only a 1080p. Um, so Messi comes out. Uh, and they show this. We'll slow this down a little bit here. Um, just so you can kind of see the lighting as it, you know, portrays over the stadiums. There's the, the weather. Uh, and obviously the sprinklers are going off as they do. The Allianz Stadium there. Allianz Arena. Ronaldo and, uh, and all that. So, yeah, that was the beginning of the trailer. Nothing too, you know, crazy. But at least you got a little bit of a snippet uh, of the graphical fellability. That's not even a word. So, then they come through to that. The pitch is ours. They're still using that, that slogan. Um, fair enough. And then they go through to this. They show Messi. Yeah, okay, right. So, let's go to this. I'm going to slow this down. Now, they're showing this at the beginning of the video. Now, there's no talk of Master League yet. There's none of that because they're saying it's free to play uh, as Scotty McTotty comes through there. Now, I don't, know if, I don't know if this is all just happening like before a match or are these actually going to be cut scenes, you know, for Master League? I can't see how they are going to be cut scenes for Master League. I honestly think this is just like a pre-match cut scene um, of the lads warming up. Now, they show this. and Now, obviously, we've seen this through uh, the playtest that we did on the PlayStation 5. And honestly, I preferred the color scheme that was used to what we saw. I don't know why on earth they have decided to go for this blue and yellow. Now, I'm hoping you can change it. I mean, for me, as, a, as someone who's designing a game, right? If you're Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich are red. Okay, so make the color scheme appropriate for that team. Blue and yellow... It's nothing to do with Bayern Munich at all. And that is just... It's so, like, in your face. It's... its I don't know why they decided to pick that. Anyway, we go into the dressing room. There you go. There's Benucci. I mean, you can tell. You look at the faces. They look solid. I mean, the player models are pretty solid. I can't really complain about the player models. But once again, I don't know if we're looking at this on a PlayStation 5. No, I hope not. A PlayStation 4. A phone. I don't know what this is being shown on. 
And there's Bruno Fernandes. And then you get into the match. Once again, that to me is so ugly. You know, I mean, they've got pink. They've got pink with the white. You've got pink with the red. That's a clash. You can barely even see the logo. Yeah, the, number, number one, the color scheme is horrendous. Okay, that, that needs to change. We can't be having these. It's too vibrant. I mean, as you can see here, look look how that, that looks fantastic. Looks really nice in, in the actual stadium itself. So there's the potential for you. Once again, there we go. Dybala, you got Martial, you got Bruno Fernandes. Give him a cheeky look. Uh, the Harry Maguire. Um, there you go. Nice little shot of... Uh, who is that? Someone's granddad. There he is. There he is. Nice to see you, mate. To see you nice. Um, if you go back as well. You know, they've got all the proper ads on the sides and all that stuff up here. Color. Order now. I mean, there's the crowd for you. Looks pretty horrendous, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, looks really bad. Look at that. Cool, blimey. That, that, that's a mess. So the lads come out. I mean, the crowd looks a little bit more... I don't know. I mean, it looks a little bit more respectful than we saw on the beta. But still not, you know, grabbing me by the gonads. Uh, and then the lads come out. Right, now. <laughs> now, they showed this snippet of gameplay. Where... Now, I'm going to put this in real time. Because this is really, really, really slow. Like, this is real time. Good lord. I mean, who thought that was a good idea to show that? That, that doesn't even... To me, that doesn't even look good. It's really, really, really slow. Um... Yeah, okay, next. <laughs> uh, this is going to be one of the worst things I've had to, like, put out and slag off. And I, and I feel bad about this, but I don't really know what's going on here. Like, wh why have they decided this? It's not even, like, the game. It's the free-to-play. It's all that stuff. We're going to get to that. Don't worry. As I said, get the popcorn out. It's going to be a long video here. So here's Messi. Now, that, that there doesn't look as bad. We have a lot of concerns with the clipping and uh, the feet planting and all that. Like, if I slow this down, and obviously everything looks worse slower. Obviously, you can see everything better when it's slow-mo. But when you look at that, this is where I kind of compare FIFA to Pez. Because, look, you can see his feet are actually getting planted in the turf. But I also have a lot of concerns. Um, I'm not going to show it in this one, because this one isn't too bad. I mean, his foot, if you if you kind of look at... Watch this here, look. We put this down to 0.1. You watch this guy's foot right here. Watch it, look. That, that's a sliding animation. Look, his toe's gone. You know, that's a sliding animation. And it's so annoying because I literally slagged FIFA off for this yesterday. And I'm having to do exactly the same today. Now, I haven't played the gameplay, obviously. But just going by this trailer, they haven't really picked the best scenarios to showcase, like, the gameplay. Uh, right, Andres Iniesta comes into the mix. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more tastier. Um, and then we're going to see a lot more issues here. So we're going to go forward. Yep, that's great. Right. I'm going to slow this right down. Right down. Once we get to it. Yeah, the defense forces you to do it. Right, we're going to put this down 0.5, okay? Now, just... It, it looks a mess. It, it really does. I mean, look at that. I mean, come on. This is not next gen, though, is it? This is why I'm, this is why I'm confused, because I don't know what they're showing here. Is this, is this PC? Is this on mobile? Like, watch how, like, he literally just... His feet don't even plant. I mean, he's... Like, watch now. He just, he just skates forward. It's like he's on an ice rink. Is this what the Unreal Engine's capable of? We can now go skating like we could in FIFA. And that's why I don't want to slag this trailer off too much because, as I say, I don't know what they're show showing this on. Like, the next gen shouldn't have these kind of issues, but the amount of problems with the feet... Is, I've never seen a Pez trailer so badly shown um, with the feet planting being as bad as it is. You can just see constant skating and sliding mechanics all over the place. Like, his feet there, it, it, I mean, if anything, it kind of looked like... Hang on a minute. Where's his ankle gone? Like, yeah, it just doesn't... Like, I'm watching this guy's feet here, and it's like, look at it. He's not gripping, there's no traction. He's just sliding around willy-nilly. I know they're kind of showcasing the new 
buttons that they have for the game defensively now there's a few new ones that we've seen so there's a one there's something there uh then we have shout pk who came into the mix once again like the amount of just problems with this like look at that it doesn't look good mm, like i'm generally really worried <laughs> And then it's not good, is it? And it's not how I want it to be, but if you're gonna show a trailer, put something that's that's going to entice me to be excited. Like, yeah, you can show all this stuff with actual players doing it. Once again here, you know, Neymar, who's now one of the ambassadors, of course. Uh, it just, where's the natural, like, where's the, the old school? Like, I generally feel like the Fox engine produce better quality than this because this is a mobile game though isn't it that's why like watch here once again the roll look at that that just doesn't look right i know i'm doing I'm, I'm you know i'm gonna be bad here and just rewind this stuff and go and look over it over and over and over and over again but i i'm a little bit lost for words in the sense that i don't know why they they put this in a trailer to try and entice us like watch when he touches the ball here ready in a second Ready, comes across. Like, look at that. It, lo it looks terrible, doesn't it? His, his ball went through the foot. Then he then he rolls it here, and that doesn't even look natural. This player's like skating on thin ice. Right there, look. I mean, his, his foot's through the ball. So all the things that I thought might be fixed with the Unreal Engine, it seems like it's going to be exactly the same. Right, so there's no point to even keep going on about showing this because it all looks the same. And unless I, unless I play like a newer build, now we've obviously played the, the older version of this, which I thought was a really old build, and I still hope that it was a really old build, but judging by this, uh, you know, there's there's other concerns. Uh, here was a new kind of skill move, I mean that looked kind of, you know, kind of cool, with the old animation, and Sulfati. Little, little, you know, stop, start a step that way. Little reverse step over, kind of. And then just, you know, his own way. And then he whips it in. So anyway, that's that out the way. Okay, the trailer itself, gameplay-wise, was not very good. Um, and there's a lot of problems. Now, this is what I don't really understand. Is this whole cross-play malarkey. So are you telling me now that PlayStation 5 players are going to be able to go up against mobile players? How is that going to work? It, for me, that doesn't work because when you're on a phone, right, the controls are there on the screen. But there's not enough buttons to press on a controller. So my, my thoughts to that are, you know, that they are going to get rid of, of all the controls that we've seen, like team make press second player making runs all that stuff's gonna go because you can't play ps5 or ps4 or xbox you know and i'm gonna pause it there i mean it's got cross-generation matches but you know when you go back and you kind of look at where is it when you look at this bit here it's got steam xbox it's got playstation xbox it's got steam and then it's got the apple store it's got but it's got playstation steam Okay, so does... I don't understand it. That's what I'm not getting here. I don't get... Is the console going to play against mobile? Because if it is, we're going to have such a dumbed-down version of this game. You know, what's the point of me playing it? I play PES for the realism, for the, the graphics, for this, that, and the other. So, yeah, I'm, I'm confused about that. I mean, we're going to find out more later, uh, more information later, of course. Right, that there was a prime example of how bad this is. I mean, core blimey. Let me slow this down to 0.5. Watch Lionel Messi here as he literally skates across the turf like like a snowman. Watch this. Good lord. I mean, he's, he just went... <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. So, yeah, the cross-platform, I don't know about, um, but I'm concerned about it because, to me, that just means that... We're going to have a very, very, very dumbed-down version with, with a lot of the controls that we're used to and not going to be on the game. Um, so they've got all new game engine rollout. That sounds tasty, doesn't it? Local matches using renowned clubs, obviously, and all those teams. And then it does do the cross-generation matches. Well, that would be good because if it was PS5 versus PS5, there probably won't be too many people with it. Um, right. And now this is where it gets even more confusing. 
because we're talking about when stuff is coming out right in autumn which is what maybe next month the month after uh, online leagues name to be announced open team building mode name to be announced opened uh, they've got this club selection here cross-platform matches console and pc okay so that's the two of them there uh, and then you've got match pass system i mean this all just sounds like my club shenanigans uh, that they've added into the mix uh, then you've got winter comes around esports tournaments kick off we've got cross-platform matches console pc and mobile how's that gonna work man did you know what i'm saying though like if if there's not enough controls on on a phone right i know you can use a controller but they're not going to make it controller only for a mobile duh no one would buy it and no one would play it well you don't have to buy it it's free to play but you can't have the same amount of inputs on a mobile device as a controller so you gotta dumb down the controls so i'm thinking that there is no teammate press there is no second player runs this is all stuff that you used to do with the right analog stick and all that and now I'm very concerned because I, I, they can't get rid of those, surely. I'm not I'm not relearning all that again. Um, so, yeah, there it is. And then winter. Um, okay, yeah. So that's what they were talking about. So we've got early autumn now. Autumn, winter. No talk of Master League. There's nothing about any kind of modes or any of that malarkey. Uh, we were kind of left into the dark about that. And there we go. Free to play. And, uh, and that's it. That was the trailer. You know, it's taking me a good 22 minutes of slagging it off. I just... It just wasn't done well, was it? Anyway, let's move on. Uh, because I do want to showcase a few things. Um, so, I've got some questions here that may answer a few things. So, uh, this was over on the, the Spanish Pez Universe website. So, I wanted to clarify a few little things that they sort of went through and mentioned. Um, so what is eFootball? Well, we know what it is. It's basically Pez, but they've changed the name, uh, and it's a mobile game. Uh, how much does it cost? Right, so it obviously is free to play. I don't like the fact that it's free to play. To me, that's ridiculous. I want a package. Give me a nice package. You know what I'm saying? I want a game. If I pay $60, $70 for it, whatever. You can have it free to play online. Fine, make a separate mode for it. But I want a fully-fledged game with Master League, with new modes and all that. Now, would I take them waiting and releasing that later if it's going to be a more refined next-gen experience? Yes, fine, I will wait. We've already waited years anyway. But, yeah, the whole free-to-play, I don't really like it, if I'm being honest with you. I, and I don't think people like it. I think the consensus is most people don't. For now, it looks like eFootball will be digital only, apparently. Um, that would be, once again, why are they doing that? They're trying to save money on discs these days? I mean, they can't be that expensive, surely. Uh, what is the difference between uh, that, that, that? All right, well, we'll not worry about that stuff. Uh, so does cross-play mean that I can play with friends on any platform? Yes, eFootball will support full platform cross-making on, yeah, consoles, PCs, and mobiles. I don't know how that's going to work, man. I know you can do Fortnite or like P or console to mobile, can't you? But not a football game. That's actually annoyed me even more. That's more of a concern is the crossplay. Uh, will crossplay... Right, now this is the main thing that obviously I had a bit of an issue with here. Will crossplay with, with mobiles affect the quality of the game? Graphics and animations on consoles. Right, now they did have someone who came in and spoke about this on IGN. Um, it was the producer of the game, and he said, We continue to make games for consoles first. Even though this looks like it was a mobile game ported over. Uh, then we take the same experience and make it available to mobile devices. In other words, we are not making the game for mobiles, but working to make mobiles more like consoles. Okay, well that clarifies that. We hope it works. Uh, we ask our fans not to worry. I mean, we are worried. I'll be honest with you, we are. Um, we have made great efforts to adapt the visual quality of the game to the hardware of each device. Well, that trailer did not showcase that, and I wish they stated on the trailer what console they were showing, because that's definitely not next-gen. Uh, that's why we chose Unreal Engine. The development speed of Unreal Engine is one of the fastest among game engines, and its scalability includes both high-end and low-end, which is perfect for new and mobile platform generation. Well... We'll see. You know, they've been they've spent two years on this, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of development. 
Um, will the Master League mode be in eFootball? Right, more details will arrive in the coming weeks, but for now, it looks like the Master League will be part of the future post-launch update. And as I say, that's a, it's annoying, but if we have to wait and they are going to actually produce something worth playing, then I've got no problems waiting for it. Um, we'll just have to play online for a while uh, as, we, as we adapt to it. Uh, when will the game be released? eFootball will launch worldwide first uh, on PS5, PS4, Xbox X, S, Xbox One, Windows 10, and Steam this fall. Okay, that's all we have right now. iOS and Android will follow later. Uh, our bad bet is early September. Uh, what modes will be available on launch day? Local, offline, and online matches of teams like Barca, Manchester United, Juve, Bayern, and more will be available for free. New updates will arrive after launch. But I mean, what, are they going to make money online straight away then? I'm trying to understand like where they're going to make the money here. Doing free to play, but they haven't really spoke about, obviously, well, my club and that. I guess we'll wait. We'll wait. I can't get too carried away. I mean, I, my, like I said, my brain's all over the place. I'm trying to fathom all this out. I know they're going in a different direction with the name and stuff. But the whole free to play, the whole cross gen, the, the cross gen's great. Minus the mobile. I don't want to play with mobile people because I feel like it's going to dumb down the game. But I'm not a developer. I don't know. I, we'll wait. We'll wait. Um, what else we got here? We'll only have nine teams. No, there will be nine teams at launch, but more will be added as the game updates. Well, I bloody well hope so. Um, why switch from PES to eFootball? eFootball is a totally different game from the previous one besides being free to play. Uh, Konami said we hope soccer fans around the world will enjoy the game as a whole new one rather than just an update on what they saw before. Uh, will option files be available? We're currently trying to find out more info. Yeah, we don't know about edit mode. I think that's the biggest thing. We don't know anything about edit mode. We don't know how it's going to work. I mean, if there's that is obviously a necessity of PES. And if it's not in the game, well, forget it. Um, will edit mode be available? Uh, we're currently trying to find out more info, as uh, as we know, as I just said. But for now, all we know is that a free post-launch update is planned to incorporate them. Uh, and any news on my club? Not yet. It looks like we'll have more information soon. We will update this page uh, as we get more info. And this was the article um, that they were talking about right here. So things like this. Uh, let's see. Where was the, the bit that I saw? I think it was here. Uh, that's included some fundamental changes, right? Such as alter alterating or altering some of the series' traditional controls. While Konami won't tell us the full list of changes, we know that sprinting is now achieved by holding the right trigger. I've got no problems with that. I play like that anyway, because I'm just used to, you know, racing games and all that now. So that's fine. I'm happy with that change. Doesn't really matter anyway. You can just do it in custom controls. Uh, and has added new options for how players use the ball while sprinting. So they've got ball control is new this year, he explained, which takes advantages or takes advantage of the R2, R trigger buttons, analog input to freely control the strength of the ball touch. And uh, knock on enables instantaneous strong touches. Since dribbling is naturally um, against a defender, We've also added some new elements to defensive control, such as matchup and physical defending. I mean, we saw those with the play that we had on the PS5 and all that with the stability test. And it was quite hard to defend, I felt. Like, it was really hard to defend. Maybe they've added more inputs. I don't know. Um, what else we have? In order to understand how the best players in the world play the sport, we brought in Andres Iniesta and PK as gameplay advisors and asked for their advice. Well, you don't need that much advice. Just watch a game of football and you'll know how it works. It was a big decision to change the controls that people are used to, but it made the battle for the ball more realistic and more reflective of the user's intentions. Now, there's no talk about the removal of, like, uh, you know, second player making runs, uh, a teammate press. But as I say, if this is going to be cross-gen, my feelings are that they've, they've removed them. Because you can't do that many inputs on mobile. And you can't have a disadvantage playing on mobile versus console. So if they're trying to find a balance, they're going to have to remove things on console. And I don't think 99% of us are going to be very happy about that. But we will wait and see. Then we have some images right here. Uh, of, uh, you know, I mean, the grass doesn't look great, does it, to be fair? There's PK. I mean, the face animations looks cool. 
There's Rashford having a shot. Like, you know, there's there's goods and bads, isn't there? You know, it looks like Lewandowski's been working out. Core blimey, look at the size of those guns. Like, you know, the kits look great and the facial expressions. Um, but my concern, as I keep saying, is, like, graphically, this is no way near where it should be from that trailer. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll wait. I mean, I don't like the colour scheme. That's got to go. That's horrendous. Uh, and then you've got the lads there, yeah, and all that. So, that was that. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gents. Like, I'm already half an hour in this video, and I think that's going to be enough for today. Um, I, I can't keep saying the same thing over and over again, although I can. Uh, but yeah, it was a big decision to change the controls that people are used to. I, I mean, that's, yeah, that's something we're going to have to wait and see exactly what they've done. So... There we go, folks. That is it. it. There's the trailer. There's the news. And honestly, I'm a little bit concerned. Well, not a little bit. I think we all will be concerned. We've got to see actual gameplay. Like, looking at that trailer has done it no justice. It was. I don't think it was a smart decision to show those little snippets of gameplay when it looks so unpolished and just it looks like FIFA. It looks worse than FIFA, uh, as in the skating. Now, the gameplay we haven't actually seen live, and hopefully it is refined and polished and better um, but we'll see. They, they've just confused me to no end with the whole, you know, what's what's coming. You know, with all this. We've got early autumn, winter, and then all this is... It's, it's madness. So, I don't know. You let me know below. I, I really... I, I'm a little... I'm just lost for words, man. I've never seen, like, this... this this big of a change that they've decided to do. But they're not exactly wowing us, you know. And you can even tell. Go on their video right now. There it is. There's the dislikes for you. 9,000 likes, 3,000 dislikes. They don't normally get that many. That can tell you how the public feel about this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys shortly. You let me know below, but it's 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 all over the place. And uh, hopefully we'll clear up some news over the next couple of weeks without, without uh, me pulling my hair out. Anyway, till next time, subscribe for more because we'll be covering it all. Uh, and I'll see you guys Friday for a stream because we're going to be live. All right, till next time. Take care.